we were nervous to say the least before. I mean, well, personally, I was. I was kind of uh, very tired and uh, from no no sleep last night and Wednesday night. You know, very tired. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I think it went really, really well. It kind of clicked. You know, the adrenaline kicked in. Doctor Music did his thing, and we got out there, and it was it was good. Went down well, I think. Yeah, exactly the same there. It was with a tired night and all of a sudden the vibe caught everybody at the same time. It, it, from being sort of like, it was like, oh, what about you play a gig? And it, was just, <laughs> and it was strange about 10 minutes before it or something backstage. And we were just, clicked, it? and it just, but everybody clicked and it was just like, oh. Okay, we're here. Oh, time. Yeah, it's been a long time coming, this gig. We've been kind of building up to it, knowing it's here, but not really thinking about it and just doing what we do and learning from the other shows that we've done. I think we learnt a lot from those shows and we'll learn a lot from this one as well. We're not quite there, but we're getting there. Yeah. So how the, how, from your point of view as a singer, how did the audience react? Because I thought it was a long way that you reached the audience because the extra stage in front. To begin with, it was kind of like, there were a few people in the audience who knew what we were doing and were singing along and were dancing, you included. <laughs> and then there was a lot of people who just sat there or stood there kind of watching and going. And I was thinking to myself, are they, are they having a good time? Are they enjoying this? And then we finished the first song and they just went wild. So from that point of view, it was brilliant. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Like quite a 70, 75, yeah. up there somewhere. Yeah, I peak. That's the thing. That's we, we we do these gigs, and we, we I think you know today we played we played really well. But there's still something more that I think you know when it clicks. I think you know the world's going to blow up or something. You know? <laughs> but it's I think it's you know as today you said, was a good as one. As you said earlier, if you look at the first shows, the progression. We're listening to people what people are telling us, and we're using it. But we're, we're finding the centre place and stage where people need to be when things go on and people backing up and people taking things. There's a bit of stagecraft appearing now as we're getting in there and it's just, it's just coming that way. The it's show's quick. Developing. You, have, you have to learn quick. <laughs> yeah. You really do, you know. Within like a set. Yeah. You need to learn, you know, if it's not going right in the first song, you need to do something, yeah. don't you? I mean, we're learning the songs and the stage presence all at the same time. <laughs> so it's a, it's a just song we practice, play tonight. really. A practice and being in the right mood yeah. and we were all in the right mood today to do it and we did it we had to do it and we did it yeah. i think from from my point of view i don't know whether whether joe's the same but being being quite inexperienced uh the, you know we, we've never played gigs this size before you know we used to so earlier on we, we, we used to playing to one man and his dog in a pub you know <laughs> and and they normally leave so you know but it's kind of when you, you turn up and there's all these people there and you're getting a response, you know, you do a solo and you get a round of applause and it's just like, you kind of learn from there. And you know, I find that since the first time we came out, since the, uh, the Queen's Night, um, that it's just, that seems a million miles away now. But it's not, you know, but it's just kind of, today it's gone up another kind of gear, I think, from from my point of view of how we're playing, you know. Yeah. Now, today, at, at the end of the, at the end of the gig, just the, the sheer volume of noise and, and love being passed back to us it was well, it helped it helped that we weren't opening the festival like we were sort of two or three down today and like and the other three festivals we were more or less <coughs> opening up and uh, that's the hardest job of all to open up because you're bringing the crowd in which we did but we didn't get them to the state they were in today well yeah. you know they'd been they were already primed up, up weren't they you yeah, know they were oh, You played a new song today. Aeroplane. Mm -hmm. Aeroplane. Aeroplane. We wrote about two or three weeks ago. We rehearsed it and like two weeks ago and thought, well, should we put it in? Yeah, okay, we'll put it in. So there it was. So it's very new. Isn't that isn't that isn't that quirky? Because um, you have not just an hour to blow the audience away and you just oh, we have a new album out. Uh, 
what we're gonna do we're gonna play a new song instead of the, the songs they probably should know Think that from from a live gig, you, you want to hear this stuff off the album, but you know, yeah, we could play the whole album, but you still want to do something that, make, you know, things like Bang Bang uh, and Apologize, the first number, and an airplane as well, is that people don't know them, but they're getting to know them. You know, one guy shouted Bang Bang during the set, and it's like, how do you even know that? It's not even on an album, you know. But um, yeah, I think it's good to just kind of mix it up, and it also keeps us on our toes as well. Um, not that that's enough, <laughs> but I think you know, to do a different song, uh, a new that's song. That's the way we roll. We just write songs and play them. And if we feel they're good enough, we'll put them in the set. Sometimes we write songs that we don't play as well. Exactly. Yeah. We've written a lot of songs We've we don't play. We've written so many songs <laughs> that we don't play well, three quarters. It's time to play yet. <laughs> Grinding out the blues clubs in the UK, trying to sort of work the festival circuit as well. But then we get our kind of three hour slot and we just do everything. And that's probably where we're best at. But we've been working with that, we've pretty much you know, written a new album. And it's kind of ready to go, we're ready to go into a studio and record our first album, really. Yeah, you, you told me the first one uh, is still a demo. Yes. Was still a demo. That's what it was. It was intended to be a demo. We haven't even paid yeah. for it yet. But <laughs> <laughs> and it's recorded in a school. It wasn't even a proper studio or anything. I mean, it was a good studio and a good engineer, but it kind of wasn't like you know a, a produced proper. album. It wasn't planned. No, no it just it was very spontaneous, wasn't it? It yeah. just kind of we did it. We were still learning the songs when we went into the studio. Um, we were still learning as a band. Yeah, we, we, we were learning to play together. Definitely, I think, um, I mean, there's times where, you know, we're doing a song and we go to a completely different section, you know, somebody will go here and somebody will go there. It's like, hold on, surely we should know the songs as we're in the recording studio doing them. But the next one's going to be the first album, the first official album. Yeah. Hokey Joy's first album. Yeah. 